Dave, how's it going? I hope it's going well. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today is a celebratory day. I'm so happy to be making this video. Because, um, somehow, I've completed the character customization 100% for another character. This character being Miss Scarlet. So, Miss Scarlet, I'm so excited. Okay, so, um, the last thing that I was missing for Scarlet came from the Towers of Time. It was a race against time skin. And this past week, if you were playing to get into the top 5%, you would have gotten the Sanguinaire. So, let's see this, uh, let's see this skin pop up. Yes! Woohoo! And another 200 time crystals. I will take those time crystals, yes. But the Sanguinaire, yes, this is amazing because now we've, uh, we've finished everything for Scarlet. Let's see if there's any interesting towers. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Not at all. Okay, that's sad. But, um, uh, you know... Oh, oh, it's telling me to update network features. Wow, there's a new patch. How crazy is that? Okay, so you know what? Let's just take a look at Scarlet. And then um, we'll have to update the patch. Online features not working. That's shitty. Really shitty. But, um, wow, do you see that? 100% of everything for Miss Scarlet. All of her skins, all of her masks, all of her blood vials, and the dagger I'm missing is from this current season, which I'll get next week. Next week, yeah. Wow, so much fashion stuff happening. This is so exciting. Okay, so let's just start off by looking at the very last thing that we got. Was it worth the wait? It kind of makes, like, Scarlet into, like, a scorpion, I guess? Because she's so yellow and she's a ninja, so she's like a lady scorpion with blood. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright, I'll say. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, so let's, uh, actually, I want to start off by giving this bitch a real dirty name. We're going to give her something real nasty. So we're going to go kinky. I hope it allows me to say it, period. Sex. <laughs> yes. Oh no. Okay, so so I guess we got to um I guess we got we got to just take out the spaces. We'll just do that. Kinky. Period. Sex. <laughs> Save it. Yes! It got past the censors. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited to have my Scarlet with an inappropriate name. Yes, okay. So, let's take a look at the skins that we've collected for her. Um, typically in the vanilla release, there's Six different costumes with ten different palette swaps. So we'll take a look at the first six costumes, and um, as well as the palette swaps for the first. Well, like there's only like really two variations. Whatever, whatever. We'll get into it. So this is Scarlet, original Scarlet. Hmm. I don't know if I um like this particular version of Scarlet. When I first started playing the game, I was like, ooh, she has ribbons around her boobies, right? Like, woo, ribbons around her boobies, that's always nice. But then, she's really, like, full-on burka girl, right? Like, she's wearing a hijab, and, like, from head to toe, she's covered minus her hands. Which is just, like, wow. Wow, like, in Mortal Kombat, Jade's, like titties are like popping out like melina runs around naked in the flesh pit bandages what on earth what on earth have they done here with this scarlet they give her a boy haircut too i mean it's cute that there's like some red 
but this doesn't read feminine to me at all. It's like she's like a Persian prince or something from far away. But like whenever you see like old kung fu movies or something, and you see like a lady dress up as a dude, like back in the day, both ladies and dudes were like clean shaven and long hair. But, like, apparently, like, the guys didn't notice that she had boobs. But, like, yeah, like, you barely notice that this girl has boobs if you're fighting her from afar, right? That's not cool. Okay, so let's see. Let's see this one. Oh, interesting. More skin. She does look prepared for combat. But once again, she does have, like, a sort of jihadist theme going on. I don't know. I really don't know. Both her and Jade... They really are, like, head-to-toe covered, and it's terrible. But, I mean, here she has some cleavage. So, I think we're gonna go with cleavage so far. So, let's take a look at the different palette swaps um, that we can have with a cleavage variant of Scarlet. I do like this one. It's just very, like, I don't know, like, she's ready for a fight. And the white just kind of contrasts. I do like that contrasting, like, white and, what is that, like, burgundy? It's like a maroonish color. It's very nice. Very nice. Maroonish and, like, khaki green. Um, there's, like, some boot details, too, that are going on that you don't really notice with the other palette swaps, I feel. Like, with just, like, these two colors. Like, you don't get as much contrast on the boots as you do with, like, these, like, see, like, she has silver, black, white, and maroon. That's so many colors. Um, hmm. Which boots do I like best? Okay, we're gonna go with this. Coven Mistress. Ooh. Ooh la la. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Cold War Scarlet skins. A, because, like, everyone should have gotten them if they were playing the game. Um, if you were playing the game where you didn't have the time crystals, like, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But, like, those skins, I'm not a big fan of them. They're just, ugh. Ugh, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of this either. What on earth is going on? Why is she head to toe covered? You have new patch 1.16. Uh, no, unfortunately not, Adam. I have to do that right after I finish this video. So, yeah, once I finish playing Dress Up... <laughs> I will definitely go get this patch because I need to update to get online features. Damn. But yeah, like, um, what's going on with this, like, peekaboo boob? Is that boob showing? Or is that, like, fabric? No, that's boob. So then where's her nipples? Oh, they're, I guess they're lower. Yeah, it would be lower. Okay, so this is very interesting. I'm gonna say this is very weird because I would never expect a real girl to wear something like this. Unless maybe she was like a vampire. Maybe this could be like good vampire attire. It does have a nice vampire aesthetic. I take it back. This could belong in Twilight. This could belong in Twilight. I do like this skin. This is a skin that I used to use before. When Spawn will arrive consoles. That will be March 17th, my friend. And I highly encourage you to check out um, the Keith David and Ed Boone um, introduction for the um, gameplay trailer. I have the trailer there, too. Yeah, it's fun because, like, I really love Keith David. If you ever played Saints Row 4, he's an NPC. Like, that's crazy. I love Keith David. I love Saints Row 4. That's such a good game. Such a good game. Oh, Lord. Okay, so I don't know... If I like this, like, ponytail, I feel like everyone rocks this ponytail variation of Scarlet. Uh, it's either Cold War Scarlet or, um, Ponytail Scarlet. Not liking that. So I think I'm gonna stick with this, like, Coven Mistress I have here. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we got the Cold War skin. Oh, shit. This is the- these are the salty skins. These are the skins that make me salty because, like, why on earth? Did this ever cost $31 Canadian to get all six Cold War Scarlet skins? That's bullshit. That's utter bullshit. And then these classic ninja female skins, they really ripped us off. Really ripped us off. Because they're four lazy palette swaps. 
four lazy palette swaps. Blah. And they costed so much. I did not... I forgot that I have these Combat League skins. These are looking pretty sexy. Oh, it's the Twilight skin with the peekaboo boob. But just in red and... Oh god, it looks so nice. I think we're gonna go with this. She's gonna be Vampire. Kinky... Period sex vampire. Yes, okay, so let's take a look at her gear pieces. Hopefully this will be a little, um, easier. Because typically the things that I look for in gear pieces are like... Thanks for answering. No problem, Frank. No problem. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, like, I hope you check out, like, all the other stuff on my channel, too. I have AI builds, augment guides. When Spawn comes out, I'm gonna be doing an AI build for the dude. Because I want to figure out how to do, like, the most damage in combos. Like, for the Joker, I got him up to 480. 480 is pretty good. 480 consistently with two uppercuts. Alright, so, um, wow. I don't know what I'm really going for here with Scarlet, but she's so cute. Look at that, she's cute. She has big lips and a big nose. She's like Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga has both of those features. Big lips, big nose. Oh, well, without the makeup, she would probably be ugly, just like Lady Gaga. Yes, yes, probably. Okay, so let's see what else she got. Um, that's shiny. That's nice, red and shiny. But I would like glowy as well. Oh, this is like a full face mask. Wow, look how shiny it is. Why is it so glossy? It's like... Wow, okay, wow, I'm impressed by that, because I, I haven't seen that kind of, like, a glossiness and lighting with any of the other masks, with any of the other characters I've collected 100% on. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, huh. There's, there's just nothing glowy? Really? I can't believe that. That's so un... Well, this kind of makes her look like Scorpion. We're going to go with that. If it was yellow, it would be definitely Scorpion. Mmm. Lady in red. Is that cute? Mm. Damn it. Wow. I'm so disappointed with these um, masks for Scarlet. There's nothing really glowy. Like, this would be cool if it was glowy. Mmm. I guess we'll get, like... Oh, oh that's kind of glowy. Yes, we'll go with that. Scarlet Invictus. Huh, and somehow we already have, like, the augment slots unlocked. Did we use this? Hmm. Hmm. Ugh. The, the Cold War gear. Ugh. F that. Okay. Hmm, so this must have been a Combat League variety variant. Mistress of the Dark. What did that come from? Very curious about that. So... That was from Combat League Season 4. If you just played one match. If you just played one match. That looks pretty cool, too. It has that same kind of, like, glossiness that was going on with some of her other masks. But there's, like, a fabric in the middle. That's... Like, I've never seen the fabric happening with any of the other masks that's pretty cool this one this one's kind of fabricy, but it's more spandex you know it's not like a woven fabric it's like well, you know spandex is woven right what is it what's the word i'm looking for um synthetic there we go spandex is synthetic this one looks like it's a natural fiber that's pretty cool um but she looks so menacing like that wow Okay, so let's try and get her... No, not this one. That's the, um, the Cold War. Cold War one. And this is the Combat League one that we got from that most recent Crypt event. And this we're gonna have to wait for until the end of this Combat League. This looks pretty cool. It kind of looks like a feather. It would be nice if it was glowy. So yes, shiny and glowy is definitely, like, the things that we look for. So I think immediately, like, default is pretty good. Wow. It's not glowy, it's just shiny. Look at that lighting. 
That is ridiculous. Why is it so... Whoa. Wow, the lighting in, like, this mode, it's so pretty. Because it just makes it look glowy, but it's not at all glowy. Lies. That's what it is. Lies. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to, like, swivel the camera angle to make sure that we're seeing everything. Hmm. Hmm. I do like this, like, red titanium, like, oxidized finish. That looks pretty cool. Also realistic. Bloodbather's Blade. Hmm. Is it glowy, though? Yeah, it is glowy. Hmm. But sometimes, running the default gear. Why not? Just why not? Oh, this looks pretty cool. Lacerator of the Blood God. Who's the Blood God? I'm not aware. Hmm. Hmm, come on, shiny and glowy. Oh, this Vitarian Warblade? This is a reskin. Or, rather, the newest thing is a reskin of that. It just has, like, different textures. I mean, like, I, it seems like they're getting some more creative textures with some of these things. That's pretty good. For combat league gear, at least. Hmm. Whoa, okay. So yeah, that that was what that was. Oh, look, it's a skull. Oh my god. I do like skulls. Oh, it's kind of glowy, too. Oh, see, like, this is clearly something I've used before. So it seems like we're just going back to the things that we liked before. <laughs> wow, okay. So many choices, and uh, yeah, it's hard to break old habits, eh? Oh, uh, let's see... Krabby Cutter? I don't know, there's no skull. I do like a skull. Um, uh, hmm, hmm. Avenger of Shao Kahn. Yeah, so like, I'm kind of confused about the relationship between, like, Scarlet and Shao Kahn. Are they lovers? Are they father and daughter? It seems like there's, like, a really, like, weird, like, daughter wants to F her dad kind of, like, feeling I get from it as well. <clears throat> like, a Joker. He had, like, a line in his, like, character stages where it said that he was really attracted to Scarlet's accent. So, like, I'm really confused by, like, what is her accent? Like, I'm like, like her, like, real world equivalent. Because clearly she's like an orphan from Outworld. But, like, what kind of accent does she have? I don't know. Is it, is it just like Outworld accent? Whatever. Whatever. Oh, this is so pretty, glowy, and geometric. I think we're going to go with that. Oh, yeah. See, like, that's new. Yay. Okay. So now we have to find if there's anything more shiny, more pretty, more glowy, more geometric. Hmm, that's glowy and geometric, but not pretty. <laughs> oh, these requirements. Okay. So, uh, wow. What a, oh, wow, what is this? Some of these just look, uh... I like this. It looks all red, but it, I wish it was glowy. I wish we could, like, tweak little aspects about each gear piece. Because clearly, that's what NetherRealm does. They just make, like, reskins, tweaking little aspects. But for me, I would just make them more shiny, more glowy. And then I would call it a day. And that's how I would make the ultimate prettiest gear piece. So, um, yeah, it seems like the ichor of the dead lovers is what we're going to go with. Unless there's something good from Combat League at the bottom here. Reiko's Remains. Hmm, it's very, uh, hmm, I don't know. Was that from Combat, or not Combat League? That's from the Cold War pack, I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, yeah, so, wow. She looks so menacing. I love it. I love this, um, Combat League skin for her. This looks pretty good. 
I definitely um, didn't expect to have it because uh, this was from season two, I believe, or was this season one? I forget. I forget. But it was basically a while ago. But yeah, Lyle, look at her boobies. There's red buckles. Wow, look at that detail. Fantastic. So um, yeah, like I am super happy that I have completed another character to 100% completion. Um, wow. So uh, like I'm looking forward to like the next character that will be completed. I wonder what that will be. I am not sure. But, um, yeah, like, if you're here at this part of the video, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Um, like, I hope you found this, like, informative, helpful. Uh, like, if you don't know where to get some of these skins, feel free to ask me. And, I and like, I will do my best to help you in the grind of 100% completion. But, yes, um, a like, a comment, a subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Um, thanks to all of those who were watching. Uh, while I was streaming, God bless you. God bless you to all of those watching on YouTube. God bless you. I hope your day's going well and that it gets even better. But yes, until next time, bye. Peace.